What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about all of the weapon changes in the Season 1 Reloaded update here in Modern Warfare 3. There is an absolute ton of them. I'm going to list all this information down in the description so you can read over it for yourself if you would like. I'm going to try to make this video as short as possible and kind of hit the high points here because they broke this down for Warzone and multiplayer and there's a ton of multiplayer changes. And the first time I recorded this commentary, it was way over 15 minutes. So I know you guys don't want to listen to something like that uh, for 15 minutes about gun stats. So I'm going to try to calm this down somewhat. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. First of all, the Holger 556 in Warzone. So all these first stats are going to be for Warzone. Got a max damage increase. The M13B got an actual nerf. So they re reduced the damage reduction to max, near, and minimum. The MCW in Warzone. It got a max damage increase in Warzone, but a near to mid damage increase as well. But things like the 16.5 MCW Cyclone Barrel actually got nerfed, and also the RB Regal Heavy Stock got nerfed. When it comes to the Battle Royale, probably most popular weapon in Warzone right now, the Battle Rifle MTZ 762, uh, did get another nerf. So the max damage, near to mid damage, and the minimum damage all got reduced. When it comes to LMGs, those are really, really popular in Warzone. The Bruin, MK9, the DGLSW, the Polymont, and the TAC Eradicator all got max damage and minimum damage reductions. Not a massive amount, but you're still looking at 4 to 6% with each one of these. So all of the LMGs got a bit of a nerf in multi uh, in Warzone, excuse me. When it comes to submachine guns, the AMR9 got a slight buff. It got max damage and near to minimum damage increase. The ISO 9 got nerfed in Warzone with a max damage reduction, a far to mid damage reduction, a mid damage reduction, and a near to mid damage reduction. The Rival 9 got a slight reduction in horizontal recoil in Warzone. The Striker 9 got a near damage increase by 2%. Uh, and of course, the minimum damage increased from 23 up from 20. When it comes to sniper rifles, the Zang 34 barrel for the cat got a damage range benefit redux, uh, reduced or reduction by 9%, and the bullet velocity was reduced by 8%. For different ammunitions, the 50 cal spire points got a damage range benefit increase, but a bullet velocity reduction. The 410 dragon's breath and the 12 gauge dragon's breath both got their near to mid-range damage and their mid-range damage reduced by 8 to 12 percent respectively so both of these got a good bit of a nerf inside of warzone now when it comes to lasers i know lasers are popular attachment in warzone the sl razor hawk got a bit of a buff the most popular ff fss olay v laser actually got a bit of a nerf reduced the ADS speed benefit, and they reduced the sprint to fire benefit. The FTAC Grim uh, line laser got a reduction in sprint to fire speed, and the hook box laser actually got a bit of a buff with an increase to sprint to fire speed. The XRK Nightfall Suppressor got a nerf all the way around. The uh, damage range benefit was reduced, the velocity recoil, ADS penalty, and sprint to fire penalty uh, those two were increased, but the recoil, velocity, and damage range were all reduced. Um, when it comes to Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer, this is where a lot of changes happened. The SVA got a max damage increase by 3%. The Holger 556 got an increase in sprint to fire time by 9%. The DG56 got a decrease in maximum damage by 4 43%. So they still think the DG is too good. And it also got a decrease in medium dam uh, damage range by 31%. The FR556 five, five, got a medium damage uh, increase by 11%. The MCW is pretty much the same as it was in Warzone. But here in multiplayer, that is an increase in sprint to fire time by 10%. Also, that decrease in damage range by 6%, decrease in bullet velocity by 7 increase in sprint to fire time penalty by 1 decrease in hip fire spread by 5 and decrease in tactical stance spread penalty by 5 But the big thing that I think a lot of people are going to notice with the MCW is that RB Regal Heavy Stock. In multiplayer and in Warzone, 
this did get changed. Um, they decreased the gun kick control benefit by 11%, the horizontal recoil and vertical recoil control benefit by 5%. They did increase the sprint to fire speed penalty by 3 the tactical sprint penalty by 3 and the increase to fire sprint penalty by 1 so it looks like that MCW Cyclone Barrel and RB Regal Heavy Stock probably won't be the best attachments for that gun anymore. There's still a lot of things you can put on the MCW that will make the gun pretty much a laser, but the benefits that you got from the long barrel and the heavy stock will not be there with those other attachments. So just keep that in mind. The Jack Raven kit got an increase in arm and hand damage by 10%. The STB556, this is where things get interesting. They buffed a lot of these Modern Warfare 2 weapons. They increased the max damage at all ranges from anywhere to 16 to almost 100%. The increase in max damage range from 15 to 30% was a 100% increase when you total everything up here because it also got a near and medium damage range and a increased to medium damage range. So. The STB556 got a big buff. The Kastov 762 got an increase to lower torso damage, leg damage, and foot damage by 15%. The Chimera got an increase to medium damage by 4 The Tempest Razorback got an increase to max damage, an increase to max damage range, and an increase to lower torso damage. The FR Advancer got an increase to max damage range by 16%, but they did decrease the max damage range excuse me by 29 but they max damage by 16. when it comes to the m16 which was kind of baffling to me they decreased all of the damage they decreased the aim down sight time and they decreased the sprint to fire time so all of the multipliers to torsos arms and hands got a decrease by negative 17 percent and i'm not really sure why because the m16 is not really that good uh the cast of seven for you got an increase in minimum damage by 16 percent an increase in near and medium damage by 33%, and an increase to medium damage range by 28%. The Castov 545 also got an increase in max damage, but a decrease in maximum damage range and aim down sight time. When it comes to battle rifles, they did decrease, decrease the recoil and gun kick of the Sidewinder, which I still don't think is going to matter because the Sidewinder is really not that great, even with less recoil. The Latchman 762 for Modern Warfare 2. They increased the maximum damage by 18%, but they did decrease the upper and lower torso damage multipliers by 5%, but did increase the arm damage and hand damage multipliers by 20 The Cronin Squall got an increase in max damage by 3%. The FTAC Recon got an increase in lower torso damage, but a decrease in aim down sight time. And they also increased the damage in full auto by about 14 to 18 percent the so 14 got a increase in max damage but a decrease in full auto type for neck and upper torso damage but an increase for lower torso arm hand leg and foot damage when it comes to submachine guns for the wsp swarm they increase the max damage by 50 percent and increase the near to medium range damage by 48 percent and for the rival nine pretty much the same thing we saw in warzone Decrease the horizontal recoil slightly, but for the MTZ Marauder stock, they decrease the fire aiming stability benefit by 5%, which I kind of hate to see because that's one of the best attachments or the best perks on attachments in the game to me. That firing aiming stability is a big benefit in my opinion, and I kind of hate to see that change. The Striker 9, they increase that maximum damage by 7%. The Latchman Shroud, they did decrease a lot of stuff. Headshot multiplier, neck, da neck damage, Upper torso, arm damage, and hand damage all got a decrease, but they did increase the maximum damage by 27% overall. The ISO 9mm for multiplayer, the uh, incompatible underbarrel attachments can no longer be equipped. The Fennec 45, they increased the maximum damage by 19%, the leg damage and foot damage by 2%, but aim down sight time and sprint to fire time were nerfed by 6% and 10%. The BASP got a decrease in maximum damage range by 14%, but an increase in leg damage and foot damage by 5%. The Latchman Sub got an increase to near and medium damage range by 4% and lower torso damage by 10 The MX-9 got an increase in upper leg damage and upper foot damage by 16%, but a decrease in aim down sight and sprint to fire. The Lockwood 680 got an increase in sprint to fire time, 
but the sold off stock mod which is probably one of the most popular you know uh the sold off mod stock excuse me it's probably one of the most popular attachments you got a decrease in sprint to fire aim down sight recoil hip fire and movement speed so they definitely nerfed that one particular attachment the lockwood 300 from mw2 they decreased the minimum damage of the slug and the Mestral Dual Trigger Action. They decreased the max damage and the near and medium range damage. The Expedite 12, they increased the medium damage but decreased the pellet spread. Uh, the Bryson 800 decreased the sprint to fire time and aim down sight time. And for the Bryson 890, they increased the rate of fire. Light machine guns in multiplayer, the Holger 26 increased the minimum damage by 16%. The DG-58 got a decrease in sprint to fire and a nerf to the aim down sight. The Bruin MK-9, the incompatible underbarrel attachments can no longer be equipped. The second MG-38 from MW-2 got an increase to lower torso damage and aim down sight time. And the HCR got a decreased sprint to fire time and a decreased aim down sight time. When it comes to marksman rifles, the DM-56 got an increase to sprint to fire. The MTZ Interceptor, just like in Warzone, got nerfed in multiplayer. Headshot multiplier and neck multiplier nerfed by 19%. The EBR-14 got a sprint to fire time decrease and an aim down sight decrease. The Lockwood MK2, uh, they fixed the incompatible underbarrel attachments but did de decrease the aim down sight and hip fire spread. The Tempest Torrent got an increased leg damage and foot damage multiplier. The crossbow, they increased the damage from 100 to 125. And the bright blaze bolts, they buff those across the board from max damage to all of the body parts that you can hit from around 24 to 33%. The LMS from Modern Warfare 2 decreased the sprint to fire and aim down sight time. For sniper rifles, the CAT AMR, they did do the same thing that they did in Warzone. That Zang barrel did get a decrease in damage range and a decrease in bullet velocity. The KV inhibitor added medium damage at 129 to 61 uh, to 61 meters. They did decrease that medium damage or minimum damage, maximum damage range, and the near to medium damage range, anywhere from 17 to 23 percent. The Victus XR XMR they increased the lower torso. Uh, and then we kind of get to the handguns. The Jack Ferocity Carbine Kit will no longer obstruct your aiming down sight with a certain optic. The TYR, they did increase some of the medium damage range, but they did decrease a lot of the body damage. So torso, arm, hand, and trigger did get a bit of a nerf there. And when it comes to some other things, they did mess with a few attachments, but it was the same attachments that we saw getting nerfed in Warzone. So overall, there was a lot of changes here in the... Uh, Modern Warfare 3 and this video took just about as long as my first uh, attempt at this commentary did uh, sadly I'm sorry you had to sit there and listen to all these stats but I want to make sure that you guys knew that a lot of things in Modern Warfare 3 got changed uh, mainly MW2 guns they were bumping those up and I'm hoping they can continue to make those MW2 guns usable because right now the meta is still only a handful of guns from Modern Warfare 3 and I know that a lot of people want to play with new guns, but at the same time, if we're going to have the option for all of these weapons, I really hope that they can get everything on par and make everything, you know, kind of on an even playing field where you can use pretty much any weapon in the game. Leave me a comment with your thoughts, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.